What we're going to do today, we're going to work on uh, setting up the the thermal blanket on the on the pool so we can uh, keep the heat in. Um, basically, I've gone ahead and bought a monsoon. Um, it's a monsoon pro series reel system. The the bars are in this box. I haven't opened it yet. We're going to do a video showing how we do that. Okay, so we opened our uh, monsoon box and um basically inside the box um it just comes with this cardboard setup you open it and everything is uh, neatly packed in here uh and there are two ends this one one for each side of the bar and you have the set of instructions that will go through the supports so we'll start uh, building that and then show you as we go Get out of the sun there. Okay, Jerry, we're just gonna take um, so it comes with two each of these. Um, and you can see this is where your reel is gonna go through. This is part of the base, it comes already with a hole for the caster. And on this one, we have two holes, so each side's gonna have three casters. And um, basically, this goes into this end is closed off, so it's pretty simple. The end that's opened, you're gonna match those up, hole to hole, and slide that in here. Okay, and that's it. All right, and uh, then we're gonna move to, to screw those, screw those on. So now we're basically gonna have two of those set up, just like that. The one of the screws that it comes with, a washer and a locking washer, and that's exactly what it tells us in the in the manual. It's pretty much plug and play, really um, gives you everything you need. And screw that in. And you have uh, two of these to do. All right. And then, basically, we have, uh, it comes with its own Allen key, too. So pretty much it comes with everything you need. Um, no things now. The manufacturers really prepare you for everything you need and basically that gets locked in and um and it's good to go uh the next step is going to be to put on the put on the casters with uh, six casters or um also the option to give you six um stationary bands so depending what model you want to use i'm going to go with the with the casters in this case um and basically here I have one of the casters. It comes with um, with a tool already set up. Um, so that should be uh, pretty easy. Hopefully we can just uh, plug that in here. And then we'll start to get that working. Okay. And turn that and then we'll use our tool to, uh, to tighten that out. Okay, and just like that, the real um, system, so the bases are built. I put the six casters on. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but they do have they do have uh, lockers on on each of the wheels, so you're able to to lock them into place uh, by moving the lever, um, so they don't slide around. And uh, that's pretty good. They sit uh, what a couple of inches off the ground, and they seem sturdy enough. Um, okay, so I've gone ahead and I've taken out the the bars from the the box. Basically, it comes with five bars. Each are measuring about 59 and a half inches long. And basically, uh, you have three that are wider and two that are more narrow. Um, um, the narrow one will fit inside of the, the one that's slightly uh, wider. So I can show that to you. you can, um, you can appreciate that. So we can, um, the wider tube is uh, two and three quarters, and the more narrow one is um, just under two and three quarters, if you see. And they're a little bit offset, so then they can fit inside of each other. Okay, so we've um, connected our. Um, our beam and again it consists of five tubes and what they're recommending 
is that the inner tube goes in at least nine inches. So what I've done, I've marked with a pencil, this is the inner tube. I've marked nine inches with a little pencil mark, as you can see right there, okay? All right, and that's gonna insert into this one. Just beyond where that pre-drilled hole is. There's a hole up there and there's a hole in here. And we're gonna go ahead and do that nine inch separation on each part. So this is narrow, thick. Narrow goes in the middle, right about here. Then we have another thicker beam. So that's, that space in there is gonna be nine inches as well that we're gonna um, insert that in. And then on this side as well, we're also gonna insert that. And then the two outer beams are gonna be the narrow ones. Okay, so I'll measure that and we'll um, get cracking. So we measured it all out. Basically, I left the nine inches on the first joint and the last joint, and I've joined the two middle sectors together. Um, this insert basically goes in here, and then you screw that in. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how that works on the other end, and that's what you're going to hook your your rotators on. That's what we want to call them. So this comes pre-drilled right through on both on both ends okay and this guy has a hole right up here where my thumb is so we're gonna match that up all right and as you can see the inner tube has these little crevices so we want to basically match those up just like a jigsaw puzzle Insert. We'll insert that until until we get right through there. We see it. clear opening. Okay, we're gonna take our um, our screw that comes with the kit. It's a washer and, and screw combo. And go right through here. Show up on this end. All right. We will um, get our washer on. Pretty much, um, that's what we've done. So, we've got the first section attached. So in the box with the tubes, you're gonna find a set of eight of these. Those are six, and two that I've already put in. So one is here, and one is up here. Um, so you're gonna find, and then you're also gonna have a drill bit. So it's gonna come, included with uh, a drill bit that, um, that you're going to need um, for that operation. So basically, see there's a pre-drilled hole right here, and that's going to have a matching hole on the back side, and then there's one approximately eight inches up. Maybe that's even less, so I'll measure that out for you. So that other hole is bang on seven and a half inches up. From, from that and um, so what you're what you're actually drilling so the the holes on the outer beam are pre-drilled what you're drilling through is your inner beam and what they want you to do is basically turn this upon itself so that it's snug you don't want it to there's a bit of play here you don't want to drill it in where there's a lot of play you want to lock it in and then drill your hole so it's locked in in a, in, in a good spot so basically you're going to be drilling eight. Okay, so all sections are in. All eight um, eight bolts and screws are in, making for a pretty solid uh, solid piece. Um, and now it's all a matter of uh, trying to get this in um, to the base. I think it should guessing that's the way the T should work. So I put this one on the wrong way, and that makes it pretty simple because we can just slide that off slide it in and now I think for the last section um, we have two of these and you see there's a pre-drilled um, hole through there and match that up through here 
and uh, and there's a there's a bolt that we have and we're gonna put that in and we should be good to go i'll show you the end result in a moment okay so there it is for now i haven't attached the blanket to it but i have put the blanket on we're coming into the evening here now i got the water up from uh 13 degrees celsius up to about 20 and a half um on this one day um and i finished building our reel i've just put it here for now really pleased with it turns really easily it's really light uh rolls extremely easily um the only problem i had all right so it's a it's a new day um basically what we've um what we accomplished uh, last night we um We built each of these strings. I'll come into the shade. Hopefully you can see. Um, so it comes with 10 of these straps. I'm only going to use nine of them. Um, and it comes with the ends. So one end, um, you feed it through and it comes with a, a little screw on. And the other end is has the same uh, side but no screw and that you're gonna actually puncture it with the self tapping screw so um and it comes with a bit for your drill um so it's uh, really convenient basically what i measured i put one on each end it's approximately 16 feet i got one right dead center in the middle um at the eight foot mark and then i'm spacing them out every two feet um in between so um basically i put the ones on the ends i'm just going to tap this one and um just uh, use the bit that they gave you which uh, as you can see is right here and um goes in pretty simply let's see how it works so just like that we got nine straps on um they're about two feet away um each um uh, really easy the self tapping screws just uh, go right in um the kit comes with uh, the drill bit, um, so it works really easy, um, no problem. Now we're going to proceed and attach our uh, tarp. Okay, I want to get you uh, give you an idea of how we're putting in these, um, I guess you call them grommets. So basically, um, this is the screw It goes in here, and that's going to trap our tarpon so i'm going to go right on to i'm going on to the third bubble and i want to do it right on this bubble so basically i'm puncturing the bubble i fit it in right in and i just apply some pressure and it pops it all right and then i should be able to just screw that in and it should be good i'll need okay so i got this uh hooked up all nine straps approximately two feet apart and uh, we're gonna start rolling her up i'll put it a little closer to the pool and we'll see what kind of effect we got situate this right here Well, there it is. The cover has been installed. I've moved it to the far end where I wanted it. And uh, we have our robot doing some cleaning right now. Um, that's our Polaris. And um, very satisfied so far. Easy to roll up, easy to roll around and get to the other side of the pool. One man job. Um, so for now, highly recommended uh, the product. And um, just to remind you all, 
that was the Polaris Monsoon. No, not the Polaris, sorry. The GLI Monsoon in-ground solar reel system. All right, and my pool is a 16 by 32, plus a little L section, which is a 12 by 14. And um, there we go, that's what we got.